Welcome everyone to another episode of Plant Nomads. Recently, in one of my build episodes, I made my fugly truck. That's right, my fugly trucky. Truckling, I guess, yeah, is what you would say. And it is very specifically built for hauling storage containers because I really didn't expect anybody to have something of a similar sort, uh, you know, built already. But browsing through stuff on the workshop, I came across today's design we're going to look at, the LCC-01 Eagle by Andreas. And as you can see, there's a remarkable similarity between his design and mine, except his design looks a lot better. So the Eagle has a similar design to mine, except instead of just being quite so straightforward, you see we have extra lights on the front. I didn't worry about forward facing. I worried more about, you know, landing type lights. And instead of it being just a fixed leg, we do have the little shock absorbers, basically. So when it drops in, it does kind of allow it to wiggle a bit. Makes it feel a little bit safer that you're not about to break something by dropping too hard. We do have separate power in the back with air blades. We've got lights and then, of course, the main power. So you can just turn everything off. And whereas mine, I focused on batteries being recharged once you landed on the pad. This one just uses a small deuterium generator, which works perfectly fine. And of course, we have a little beacon light. Though I'm not sure why I would need a beacon light if I'm not leaving it somewhere. It's more go drop off an empty container and collect a full one and bring it back. But of course the small deuterium generator does mean you have a little bit more longevity if you're wanting to use it with like your base and a far off mining site. My focus was on it being a short trip from basically the space station down to the surface where there's a mining site and collecting everything. And whereas I have a more filled in under frame to it, we have just a basic framework, basically a scaffold right here for this. But it does work pretty well overall, I mean, in terms of what it's supposed to do. So I just took the storage container off, the large storage container, and immediately as soon as I placed it, this shot up in the air a little bit from the change in weight. So make sure if you're doing that, it's actually landed on the ground with the air blades turned off preferably but yeah just a basic frame and you see it kind of fits right to it uh there's no bounding sides like i used it's basically here's the middle and i'm assuming is based around the air blades kind of framing it in whereas on my design i actually put frames on the outside look like it has some kind of hold to it but yeah, that's basically it. It's not very complicated, but it does exactly what it needs to do. Honestly, I'm probably still going to upload my design in the end just because the name is going to be funny. But uh, I think if I was someone downloading the space station design in the end, I'd probably go with this one as the uh, complimentary design for transporting your storage containers around. So I'm going to try and remember to put this one in the links when I upload the space station as one of the compatible designs for it. But let's go ahead and enough looking at it, let's take it for a spin. So it's not just about being able to transport a storage container, it's about maneuverability. And as you can see, uh, I'm topping out just over 71, coming up on 72 kilometers per hour. Yeah, just just shy oh there we go maybe maybe we could get it maybe nope just shy 72 oh there we go yes drying time 72 kilometers per hour uh so pretty good top speed you know not game breaking top speed not using one of the uh little glitches little hacks to kind of make it go super fast that's pretty much the eagle i mean it is there's not much to it it's a transport for storage containers again uh, you know for it to fit into the theme of my space station i would probably be taking out the small deuterium generator and just adding in a bunch of batteries to have it where it, when it lands it automatically connects into power and starts recharging that way you get a short range trip but you're not worrying about having to put deuterium in it all the time and you know just make it a lot easier on the power being focused on deuterium for the space station itself you see wow that did i break it 
before it was sitting up a little higher. I kind of slammed it down, I guess. So just another short, sweet episode looking at a design that is on the workshop. Honestly, I kind of like going back to doing some of these because it's just focusing on showing off something by a creator. But it's also kind of helping me this week while I'm really busy with work stuff. So yeah, short episode today, and that's going to be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, if you like the design, hit that like button. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And there will be a link below to the design if you want to check it out yourself on the workshop. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.